this is kind of a bummer gta trilogy definitive edition is a mess so um i saw this uh you know a, a video by actually i looked it up because i was interested in what was going on and i saw a video by modern vintage gamer where he kind of like touched on some of the things that he saw um but first of all it's so bad on pc that they had to they had to take it off the store the rockstar store so let's uh let's read this here um all right it didn't take long uh for people to start finding out an assortment of issues with the high definition remakes of rockstar's three classic games players are capturing footage of blinding rain uh yeah blinding rain effects invisible bridges spontaneous blood pools ridiculous camera angles questionable changes from the original versions of the game and much more for the most part these issues haven't prevented people from running it but it's not a good sign this early into its release so let's take a look at some of these so here <laughs> here you can see uh the way this character looks here and the way they look here um very strange uh let's take a look at some of these oh yeah okay so here's the rain effect so essentially there's the the way the rain is working right now in san andreas and i think in the other games too is that it has no interaction with the environment so no matter where you are you just have this crazy rain effect and there's zero so like for example look at the water see how the water is the rain isn't interacting with the water in any real way and the same thing modern vintage gamer went under a bridge and the rain was still under the bridge so that is a mess um let's take a look at some other ones the bridge over the whetstone is transparent um so yeah <laughs> You could see here a vehicle just kind of riding in thin air. Um, yeah, so there's a bunch of issues. Um, the game was taken off uh, for the PC version. And uh, yeah, here, okay, here we go. Data Miner stumbled on curious developer comments and unlicensed songs in its code which could have prompted Rockstar to halt availability of the games. Uh, GTA's tr uh, trilogy transition from Rockstar's proprietary engine to the Unreal Engine hasn't gone smoothly, which worse is that the developer removed the original version of the games from Steam last month. If you want to play these influential open-world games, you'll currently have to do so waiting through a pool of bugs and problems until a patch is released. So there you have it. Um, poor 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 quality control um they farm this out uh i'm not going to name names of the studio that worked on this but they farmed it out uh they had to port it to unreal engine and it just it just wasn't done properly obviously the qa look <laughs> the game is playable in the sense that it's not broken right but that for example that rain thing that should never make it past uh qa like there's got to be a ticket in their database and it's to the point where it's like if you're gonna patch it later you should just turn off rain for now and then fix it and then turn it back on so yeah it's just not this is not done with any kind of real care and th the fact that they removed the previous working digital uh additions that actually work okay um this put another point towards physical in this uh situation um so yeah the way i see it if you want to play these games in the best form you gotta buy a physical version there um so yeah uh a mess and it's not just it's just happening all over the place. Battlefield's having issues. I mean, this has, has issues. It's just, there's so many games that release unfinished. It's just, 
it's crazy. I, I mean, you know, we had the big issue with cyberpunk, you know what I mean? And, but obviously this isn't as big of a game, but these are games that people love and they want to play. And, oh, oh, also let's, th- let's talk about the fact that because they took down all those other digital versions, they kind of wiped out the progress of a lot of modders that fixes a lot of issues with these games. So, are the modders going to work on these new versions? I don't know. They might not want to. They might want to just stick with the older versions, which if you don't have them already, you can't get them anymore dig- digitally, right? So, yeah. And some of those versions probably aren't even on physical. You would have to get the original version on physical or maybe like a next-gen upgrade. So, there you have it. It's a mess. Um, it doesn't look good, and it looks very uh, sloppy. Just very sloppy development. 